Okay, hi everybody. Spawn Kai 22 Gundam. Mobile Suit Gundam Iron Blood Orphans. Episode 20. This one was weird. Um, I don't want to go on a rant here about Ian. The guy who was supposedly killed last week's episode. And I was excited about it. Well, he's not dead. He's on life support. And uh, basically what happens is, Gal this is like one of the things that kind of Galileo wants to save him or get revenge for his superior. This whole scenario, no, no, I'm sorry. This is going to be the, the guy who's going to go up against Mika? Really? Why? Because his supporter was, his, his superior was killed in like episode two, three, four? That's my mind. That's my opinion on the matter. Yeah, and I'm, I'm a little bit of this too. I have no, I have no desire for Ian and what he's. No, no. The sooner he gets killed, the better. I'm sorry, but basically, what happens is McGillis has a conversation with um, Galileo about it, stating how about the operation that Mika and everybody on the Mars took can't pronounce that operation, which is those things in the, their back. He tells Galileo, basically stating that he's going to tell him about it, and so on and so forth. Um, the kind of attitude that Earth has with them is obviously not one of disgust, but they can't get used to them. But what ends up happening is they meet this guy who looks like Yamamoto. I'd show his picture. I don't want to get a copyright strike. He looks like Don Ramoto. He's got the white beard. It's curling all over the fucking place. Um, he's basically stating to them. He tells Cordelia about Dort, how it's improved, how she changed everything, and that they're protected within their where they are. Because he's part of the Oceanic Federation. And they are protected from Gal the Galahorn. Now, here comes the bad news. They can't go home. According to me. It was like, he wasn't threatening them. But he's like saying, do you have a way to get back? You can't. And this just brings up a whole can of worms with Biscuit. Because Biscuit finds out about his brother. And that kind of turns sour. Now, the deal, the deal is, is they're trying to get him to this ceremony, this um parliament kind of thing. But because of the fact that the Gallahorn still they're pursuing them. So it's it's one of those things where you know, it's a very, very, very dramatically sensitive situation they're in. But the thing with Biscuit is he actually threatens to quit. Take him. To leave Orga and everybody else. Quit them. And leave. Um, I'm guessing it was it was because of his brother's death. He must have committed suicide. I don't think he committed suicide. And he actually has a note, tells him his brother, this whole thing. Biscuit's brother tells him. It's, it's pretty sad. And the mechanic guy, whose name I do not know, <laughs> has a talk with, with Biscuit about it and saying how Orga is scared as well to move forward and so on and so forth. And saying that we, we it was everyone, it's collective everyone that helped get through this trying time. Now, the end result is at the end of the episode, this Akane. He tells Orga, unfortunately, that even he can't push Gallahorn anymore. And one of the people in Gallahorn wants them to hand over Cordelia and them. Of course, it's the Geisha bitch. Yeah, that's what that's her new name. Her new name is the Geisha bitch. Because She's got really thick eyebrows, and she looks like a geisha. 
She's the same one in the flashback that was like goo goo gaga over McGillis. So when they were children. So basically she's head of the of the of the bullshit patrol that they got passed from in the previous episode. And they're gonna go after them now. So next week's episode essentially is gonna be about her. It should be interesting. Um I'm guessing Barbatos, they they refitted it. They refitted it with, with land, ground, um, equipment to battle on Earth. So this should be very interesting. Rating-wise, I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5. Even though the thing with Ian is retarded. I'm sorry. Revenge for your superior? Fuck you. Fuck you. Go, go, go see Slain. Go see Slain and Elder No Zero. Go visit him in prison. Go blow him. Sorry. Your superior is, is, is a piece of shit. I'm sorry. Your superior is a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit. Go fuck yourself. End of story. Anyway, moving on. Um, yeah, they, they fitted Barbados with, with, with some kind of ground um, set so they it could fight on Earth. So this should be interesting for next week. There's only 25 episodes, so this is five more, including next week. Uh, and then that's going to be it. So this will probably end on, not a cliffhanger, but more like a to-be-continued. Now, moving forward with this show, I really want to know more about McGillis. Yeah, I definitely want to know more about him and why he's with, why he's trying to do this revolution, why he's trying to reform, um, you know, McGillis Horns, um, organization and everything. But it's good to find out that there's more than just one organization within Earth. You have the Oce Oceanic Federation. So we're going to get more details as we go along with these episodes with, with the information about that. But they're going to fight them next week. The <laughs> funny scene was when the guy, the guy who looks like Yamamoto basically gave them uh, a flounder. <laughs> And he no one knows what it was. No one had no idea what the fuck it was. Like, what is that? <laughs> What's her name? The girl, the little girl who was with um, Mika. She's like forcing him to eat. It's like, God, we don't like that. They're right. But so, how hard it was me to prepare this and shit. It was so funny. It had me gagging. But yeah. A bonk on I-22. I'll see you guys later. This week, I'm definitely... I know. I I heard it from uh, Snapback Pirates. Slacking is a understatement. Yes, it is. It is an understatement. It is an understatement. Don't worry. I'll get back on Tai's Eye. I'm gonna get back on Tai's Eye. I'll get back on Bleach. Get back on One Piece. Toriko probably not, but I'll get back on those, and I'm definitely gonna get back on. Oh, gotta get back on Kame and Attack on Titan. Oh shit. Oh shit. But yeah, look forward to that. I'm Balkan on to do. I'll see you guys later.